Today on 21st Century Business, explore state-of-the-art technology, innovative business strategies, insights from cutting-edge corporations around the globe, a visionary look into the answers of tomorrow today. Business leaders, business solutions, 21st Century Business. Welcome to 21st Century Business, I'm Jackie Bales. For many years, the traditional printing press was the only solution to printing labels, and it's still the obvious choice for long-run label jobs. But it's very difficult and very expensive for a traditional press to run a small volume of labels. Mark Hopkins, president of ISIS Label of the Imaging Systems Group, joins us to discuss a new cost-effective technology. Welcome, Mark. Hello, Jackie. Mark, why is traditional label printing so expensive if you only need a small number of labels? Well, traditional printing, such as the Flexo printing shops, are very large printing presses. They run at very high speeds, 720 feet per minute. So you can imagine, uh, you know, a million label job runs through that machine quite nicely. Mm -hmm. What they don't like running is a very short amount of labels. Uh, in the 1,000-foot to 2,000-foot uh, label job, as we call it. So what we're looking at is we're looking at uh, setup times, uh, very large setup times for uh, any print job mm -hmm. on a traditional press. Uh, even if it's for a million labels, it's the same time to set it up for 1,000 to 2,000 feet or 5,000 labels. But then the printer's just going to run for a couple of minutes. It though. just runs for a couple of minutes. Oh. Exactly. So you can see where the expense is. So it's all setup time, which could be two to three hours, and then a two minute job run. So who is Imaging Systems Group, and what are you doing differently now with ISIS Label? Uh, Imaging System Group is a company that manufactures and designs continuous printers. Um, where continuous printing comes into play is for running one single length up to, say, 5,000 labels. So we run a sheet of paper that is uh, X number of inches wide, 12.9 inches wide, by 2,000 feet. That's, our, that's ISIS's uh, moniker for uh, continuous printing. And where we belong is in the label marketplace. We belong in the digital printing segment of, of label printing. Mark, tell us about the label market as a whole. Well, simply put, uh, the label market is the art of printing a label. Um, basically, you see labels every day in your life, uh, in the grocery store. Um, when you buy a bottle of wine, there's a label um, attached to that. And it's very important for manufacturers and, and labeling for brand awareness and uh, uh, a label that looks nice obviously sells over and above uh, a label that doesn't look nice. Um, so it's very important, this business. Um, and uh, back in 2005, there is uh, um, a chart out that uh, says that the label market space, the entire label market space generated $60 billion dollars in North America alone, just on label wow. revenue. Wow, mm -hmm. amazing. But you're talking about runs that are much, much smaller than the big, big presses. So what industries would be interested in a print that is like 1,000 to 2,000 feet in length? Well, there's two segments. There's the traditional press, as we talked about, and then there's the digital press. And the digital press is capable of doing the shorter runs. Mm -hmm. So really, the, the, that customer that owns that digital press would be the same customer that we would be looking at, um, whereby we would offset their short-run label jobs on our equipment, leaving them to run all of their long-run jobs. There's other uh, ideas behind our technology in as far as a customer is concerned with what is called implant printing, where literally this printer is brought into a manufacturing customer and the service, the entire service is outsourced to the company that's bringing in the label equipment, our mm -hmm. equipment, and their expertise, whereby they're using our equipment, making labels for their customer, which is the manufacturer, thus the term implant printing. And this sounds like a small piece of equipment, relatively speaking. It is. When we did our, uh, you know, went out and looked at the market space, and uh, we uh, saw that there was nothing in this segment, nothing within this niche 
within a niche. This is why we have built this technology. We call it the Apex 1290, or in North America, it's known as the Pro 510DW. Mm -hmm. Now, this technology is going to allow you to keep your printing press running at full capacity while you're running the short run jobs. The short run jobs, basically, I can have to my customer, your customer, I could have those same day. Hmm. So why would that customer need a, a short run job alongside of his long runs? Well, he might be doing a market survey. Mm -hmm. He might be um, providing short run jobs to that boutique. So say a wine boutique. So I'm, I'm bottling 5,000 bottles for this year and I want to have a special label on that. I can do that without interrupting my long run jobs. So your customers really run the gamut and their customers do as well. Then. Absolutely. So where does the continuous print solution fit in the big scheme of things, in the big print market? Well, continuous printing is a very interesting technology for us. Um, what we do is basically, as I mentioned before, is we don't run a page at a time. We run hundreds of feet at a time. Mm -hmm. So we go reel to reel. Well, this is ideal for the label market space because we're running at a fairly good speed and we're able to run fairly long lengths. So we can, we can print 5,000 labels easily in less than 45 minutes hmm. because we're spinning at 30 feet per minute and we're running reel to reel. So we're basically loading our print job in minutes, not hours. And our print job is finishing on the back of our printer, ready to go to second stage, such as an applicator or even a finishing uh, equipment. Huh. Now, when you mention variable medias and variable data, what exactly are you talking about? Okay, Jackie, that's a very good question because what we're doing in the digital presses is we're doing something that traditional press can't do. And when we talk about variable data, we're talking having a design on each label and data on each label that is different. Huh. So over 5,000 labels, I can have 5,000 absolutely different data sets on each label. This so is something you can't do in traditional press. It's really bringing printing into the 21st century. Absolutely. That's very computer based. So who specifically could take advantage of this solution then? Okay. In our segment, you know, we've talked about the expensive digital presses. Um, and we've also talked about the low-end uh, digital presses. Um, and, you know, very expensive, uh, 50 feet per minute, these presses. Uh, and then you're all the way down to the inexpensive, which you're talking about, um, you know, feet per minute. Uh -huh. And very inexpensive. So the person that can take advantage of our technology is that person that doesn't want to spend the, the, the capital on the large uh, digital press, mm -hmm. uh, but rather wants to get production-worthy business out of their digital press. This is where you would look at the Apex 1290 or the 510. This is a product that isn't that expensive, and it can do production label jobs. It, it sounds like a great advantage. What is next in the future for ISIS label? Well, our plan is to bring out a, a nice portfolio of label printers. So look for us bringing out um, late this fall another printer that is going to be a, uh, a good companion to what the, uh, the Apex 1290 is. And uh, we're just going to start meeting the needs in our little niche and we're never going to stop um, our research and development. Uh, that is always going to be a huge part of uh, ISIS label and uh, look for a lot of future product. Well, it sounds like you're really opening up new worlds in printing. And I think for that, a lot of customers can be grateful. Well, Jackie, we're really excited about uh, our opportunity. Thanks for joining us, Mark. Thank you. And thank you for watching. For 21st Century Business, I'm Jackie Bales.